And welcome back. Now, the Department of Defense recently told Parliament uh, that the South African National Defense Force, or the SANDF, is in a constant state of deterioration. The department also raised concern around the training of army personnel and the state of their technology and equipment. And they stated that their prime mission equipment, or PME, does not undergo regular maintenance either due to a lack of funds and warned that because of this, the equipment could collapse completely. So joining us now is Mr. Cyril Klaba, who is the chairperson of the Parliamentary Portfolio Committee of Defence and Military Veterans, to talk about this. Uh, Mr. Klaba, welcome to Morning Live. Yes, uh, uh, thank you very much, Sakina. Uh, greetings to uh, the viewers at home. So uh, you were told as the portfolio committee about all of these woes and, of course, the fact that the Defence Force is in need of money to have a capable and sustainable army to serve and protect. So what did you take away from that with regard to how safe we are with the current state of events? Yes, you, you, you are right. Uh, it boils down to, to the question of uh, national security. Um, we are uh, in discussion uh, with both the Minister of the Defence for of, of Defence and uh, Treasury uh, on this uh, uh, particular issue. I think at some point we'll have to escalate the matter back to Parliament uh, for the attention of the President. It, it is a serious matter. You know, uh, it's not the first time that this matter has been raised. Uh, the, tw the 2015 Defence Review. Uh, found that the SNDF is in a state of uh, is in a critical state of decline, uh, characterized characterized by a number of uh, uh, fixtures. Um, just to mention a few amongst them is force imbalance between capabilities, uh, obsolescence, uh, and, and unaffordability of uh, many of its main uh, operating uh, systems. And, and, and lack of uh, uh, critical mobility. Those are the uh, uh, things, amongst others, that um, were found to be characterizing the National Defense uh, Force as, as, as we talk. Right now, you are right. Um, you know, we are at a stage where they can't uh, even service uh, the prime mission equipment, and they, they have to cut down on flying hours. Uh, they have to cut down on training hours. They have to cut down on sea hours. That then starts to uh, weaken uh, force preparation uh, on the part of the defense. Uh, now, it, 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 it says to, to the world that here you are, uh, that you, we now have a, a defense force that is starting to, to uh, fall short of meeting its combat ready ob objectives. So this is the issue that we are grappling with uh, in, in, in Parliament. Mr. Klaba, you say these concerns have been raised at least since 2015. So what has been done since then? Uh, what sort of corrective action and measures have been taken? Well, measures have been proposed, uh, Sakina, but they require funding. Um, you know, if you understand the current um, uh, fiscal uh, situation in our country, uh, which is impacted largely by low economic growth, slow economic growth, and uh, now you we experienced, uh, you know, uh, COVID-19 that disrupted um, a number of business uh, uh, activities, um, impacting on uh, the projected uh, revenue. You also had um, over 500 billion rand being taken out of uh, fiscus to fund uh, COVID-related uh, matters. So you can see the, the situation that we are faced with, uh, that um, it's clear that uh, and we, we are not likely to come out of this situation in the next year or two. But uh, the country must start to prioritize uh, its, its military. You, you can't have um, a, a national defense force that, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's not combat ready, especially now that there are disturbing uh, developments uh, taking place north of us. So we, we, we can't risk uh, army. We can't risk our borders being porous. Uh, we can't risk... Uh, 
you know, uh, having our, our seas, uh, our ports of entry, you know, uh, unprotected. So it's a matter that the country must start to discuss about. And maybe at some point um, it, it will dawn that it's got to be prioritized in the same way as we prioritize housing, in the same way as we prioritize it, any other uh, service uh, deli- deliverable in our country. It is one of the key. And um, I mean, no economy will thrive when there is no security, you know. So, so is it is a sine qua non of a thriving uh, economy. So we've got to put, um, you know, uh, our money where the mouth is. Thanks. Indeed, Mr. Kaba, because talk is cheap. Why haven't we spent the money? And how much money exactly does the army need at this stage? Well, look, uh, Sakina, um, currently the budget uh, stands at uh, 55 billion rand. And um, we, the, the, the National Defense Force has been spending uh, over the last three, four years, all owing to the successive cut on its budget. And uh, right now, the over expenditure is projected to, to be over 3 billion rand. And, uh, and now with the, 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 the news that the budget is going to be cut further uh, in the new financial year, I think by 1.7 billion rand, you can see that it's now st- we are now starting to have a defense force that is unsustainable. So we, we, we are right, and we are talking about this. And uh, very soon, we have met with the minister, and we are meeting with the Secretary for Defence Force. We are now, we, I mean, on the 15th, uh, 16th uh, of October, we'll be meeting with the Chief of the South African Defence Force. Now we want to say, look, we understand the situation, and uh, what other alternative sources of revenue um, we can find um, uh, to then start to uh, deal with the the compensation of uh, employees that is starting to crowd out everything else and in, uh, in 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 the in the defense force. So it's a matter that we assist with, and um, like I'm saying, including looking for alternative uh, sources of revenue. One of the uh, you know area that is being looked at in this regard is sweating of um, uh, you know uh, assets. The assets that the department uh, or the defense force does not need, maybe we must look at how we can recapitalize the as- assets and uh, to then ensure that we, 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 we build in more revenue for, 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 the, for the army. Mr. That's Kava, a situation we are facing. You talk about uh, recapitalizing some of these assets, but it is also said that some of the equipment is so far outdated uh, to the extent that it has very slim prospects of even being modernized. Uh, where does that leave us? You, you, in these few minutes, you've told us that we have a South African National Defense Force that is not combat ready. Uh, we're hearing of how technology uh, is outdated. The equipment is outdated. This is a very scary situation we're talking about here. It is very scary, uh, Sakina. You see, the, the acquisition program of the Defence Force must start to focus on smart systems and equipment and technological uh, multipliers. Something we can't afford at this particular at this particular moment. I mean, look, we visited the the Air, the Air Force uh, base uh, in Cape Town. We were taken to an aircraft whose lifespan was meant to be 40 years, but they were able to stretch it way beyond uh, 40 years. Now it's in, in its 80th, 80th, you know, by another 40, 40 years. I mean, look, you, 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 you can see a, an aircraft that was built a decades, back, a decades back that it does not have, um, you know, the current, uh, you know, technology. You can't even fit in a new technology on it. The best thing you could do is to put it aside. You have our own, um, what you call, um, frigates that requires uh, repairs. And one frigate, to repair it, you need 700 million rand. You have submarine 
uh, that requires repairs. And um, to repair it, you need just one. You need 400 million rand. Here you are talking big sums of money. Unfortunately, those funds are not available uh, in, in, the, in the defense force. So I think we are facing a dire situation. And, um, you know, hence we think uh, this requires a serious uh, discussion, not at the level of a portfolio committee, and um, pro a parliament, we're bringing the report back to parliament for the attention of the president. And uh, because it does appear that the discussions that we asked, um, you know, to be undertaken between uh, Treasury, the Minister of uh, Finance, and the Minister of Defense Force are not yielding uh, the the not yielding you're not yielding fruits or the desired uh, outcome, so it's I think it's time the matter uh, is escalated to the chief, um, uh, uh, to the commander in chief, the president himself. The question is though, Mr. Kaba, why were these equipment allowed to deteriorate to the level at which it now requires hundreds of millions of rands uh, to repair? and maintain after the arms deal and and the scandal that ensued there were so many reports in the media how some of those submarines were just left and um uh, cared for why did we allow that situation to happen well look uh, it, it escapes all of us uh, that um this thing was allowed to deteriorate to to this point and um it's even worse now that um the, the special defense accounts account uh, there's there's something in the budget of the defense force that is called a special defense account sda is meant for acquisition program so that um because uh, some acquisitions are multi-year so you need a budget that is going to stay there that takes into into account the multi-year uh, projects but that special defense account it's it's it's, it's being slashed and um, it, it creating further further crisis, and uh, I'm, I'm saying that um, the years of um, a budget cuts in the department and uh, have landed us to where we are now. And uh, I think it's got to come to a stop. If there has to be a cut, yes, a cut elsewhere, but not in the defense force. Probably. Uh, Sakina, I think the country has been saying we we have been funding uh, entities that have been draining the resources of the country year after year. Maybe it's high time that those funds are diverted to uh, you know essential um, you know uh, programs of government such as as this one. I'm not commenting on on on, on that uh, yet, but I'm saying. Uh, it's high time that um, we we start to say, man, look, uh, let let us let go of this one. Let us let let go of this entity because it starts to be a drainage, and uh, it starts to squeeze out what uh, we should consider a sacrosanct for the country to go forward and uh, to move forward and 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 grow economically. We have to leave it there, Mr. Tlaba. Thanks so much uh, for your time. Sir Tlaba is the chairperson of the Parliamentary Portfolio Committee on Defence and Military Veterans, talking to us about the Department of Defence's presentation to Parliament last week, which showed that the Army is in a desperate state of affairs, in desperate need of funds, and it is constantly deteriorating. Very scary, as Mr. Tlaba himself admits. Right, with that.